Well, if you're heading out the door this morning, we are definitely seeing humid conditions. Those temperatures in the 70s. McAllen 74 degrees, Harland in 73, Brownsville at 73. Uh, those winds are still a bit breezy right now out of the southeast between 15 and 20 miles an hour with those gusts up to 30 miles an hour. So we've seen wind gusts up to about 40 miles an hour since midnight. As far as your dog walk forecast, we are expecting those temperatures to continue warming into the 80s by 11 o'clock this morning, getting up to about 86 degrees this afternoon, but mostly sunny skies are expected today with those highs for areas out to the west hitting the 100 degree mark. So we're going to be fairly hot from McAllen to Rio Grande City. Lower Valley topping at 95. Wind still continuing to be a bit breezy out of the south between 17 and 20 miles an hour at times gusting up to 30 miles an hour. South Padre Island reaching 75 degrees. So that is going to be the coolest area to be today, especially for along our coastal areas. But those dew points right now are in the upper 60s with the muggy and humid conditions there. Uh, but as we look at future clouds and radar, we are expecting uh, occasional clearing, mostly sunny skies for this afternoon. So we are going to continue seeing those, those somewhat hazy conditions in some locations and then cloud cover coming back for the overnight hours. Overnight lows dropping into the 70s. Unfortunately, any rain chance remaining well to the north of the valley and we do need the rain because we are definitely seeing those increasing drought conditions for us here as we head into the at least the next uh, two to three weeks or so. But as we look at the situation, we are expecting those conditions to become a bit on the uh, cooler side as we head into the end of the week there. McAllen right now 74 southeast winds at 18 miles an hour there uh, with those winds continuing to gust up to 16 to 19 miles an hour for today. So we're going to be a bit more calmer today. So winds are not going to be as breezy. We saw wind gusts peaking up to 50 miles an hour yesterday. We're not going to be that breezy, but we are still going to be uh, relatively windy for the rest of this afternoon. The big picture is that we have a low pressure system moving through the central portion of the state. That's causing a few showers and storms to flare up from central Texas. We actually saw a few of those showers uh, move through to the north of us now moving towards Corpus Christi, but those uh, rain chances definitely missing the Rio Grande Valley, at least for the next 48 hours. Future clouds and radar showing occasional cloud cover. We're going to have another dry line set up as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. That dry line moving well off towards our coastal areas, and that's where we're going to start seeing those temperatures once again surpassed 100 degree mark. So therefore, another hot day. Practice those heat safety measures as we head into the next two days because we are definitely going to be feeling those summer like temperatures, at least to the middle of this week. And then we're going to get a brief cool down for the end of the week into Thursday with those highs only topping out in the 80s and then those dry conditions making conditions feel a little bit more comfortable as we head into Thursday and Friday. As far as your seven day forecast, expecting that warming trend through Wednesday topping out at 101 overnight lows in the 70s and 60s. We're going to be be a little bit cooler for Thursday, getting up to 89 for Friday, 91 for next Saturday.